Ever heard of YouTube channels that practically have money growing on trees? These folks are like content producing wizards. They wipe up a ton of videos, we are talking 1000 or even 2000, faster than you can microwave popcorn. All thanks to their AI sidekicks. Once these videos hit the internet party, the creators dust off their hands and go back to sipping their morning coffee. Meanwhile, their videos out there racking in views and charging on YouTube. It's like setting up a money printing laminate stand but with videos and less squeezing lemons. In previous videos, we learned how to make 500 plus quiz videos in just 2 minutes. We also learned how to create a bunch of short videos. This video could be a game changer for you. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to produce over 1000 riddle videos in just a blink. Plus, I'll show you how to use various backgrounds for each video. After watching this video, you will have the power to wipe up thousands of videos in an instant. Not only that, but you will also master crafting videos in various aspect ratios with complete stunning backgrounds, stylish animations, and even some snazzy sound effects. This tutorial is your gateway to becoming the ruler of AI automation. I'll guide you through the process and together we'll create this from scratch, step by step. And don't worry if you don't have Canva Pro. There is a solution for that and I will provide a link in the video description to help you with the Canva Pro issue. Without any more delay, let's begin right away. First head over to the canva.com. Then click on create a design. Then click on custom size. Set its dimensions to 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. Then click on create new design. Now increase its duration from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Now our next step is to import some sound effects. I have got these 4 sound effects that we can use for our riddle videos. I downloaded them from mixkit.co, a free website that offers background music, sound effects and many other free resources as well. Now we need to bring these sound effects into Canva. Simply select them all and drag and drop into Canva. Move the playhead to the very first frame of the video. Because later on we will have a little text animation at the start, let's add a voice sound effect in the first second. Next move the playhead forward to the end of the whoosh sound effect and then let's add the timer sound effect. Now again move the playhead forward to the end of the timer sound effect and then add the pop-up sound effect. Now again move the playhead forward to the end of the pop-up sound effect and then click on fourth whoosh sound effect. Now let's see how it sounds. Now we have successfully created the sound effects for all riddles. Now in the top right corner click on share, then click on download and then click on download. Make sure the file format is mp4 video. Click on download and it will start downloading. Now close this tab and come back to canvas homepage. Head over to the video section. I'm going to demonstrate how to create videos for regular YouTube. But here's the thing, if you are looking to create content for platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook or YouTube Shorts, the process remains the same. Just concentrate on grasping the technique. Now click here to create videos for regular YouTube. Once you click here, it will direct you to the Canva's video editing workspace. Now increase its duration from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Now upload the downloaded mp4 file into Canva. Now drag and drop the mp4 file into video editing workspace. Make it smaller and place it somewhere in corner. Keep in mind that we are using mp4 file to include sound effects in all our riddle videos. Now head over to the element section and search for frame. Then click on see all and then pick this one. Make sure to adjust the frame size like this. Now add one more frame into canvas and adjust its size like this. Give it a white background color. Now again head over to the element section. Delete the frame keyword from the search bar if there is. And then pick a rounded square shape. 
adjust its height and width like this. Now head over to the color panel. Now fill the color you like. I'm going to select the purple. Now one last time head over to the element section and pick a circle shape. Then click on the color panel and fill a different color. Now adjust its size and position like this. Now select both and convert into group. Adjust its position like this. Then right click on it and then click on show timing. Right now you can see that this element is displaying for 10 seconds. We don't want that. We are going to display its duration to display for 8 seconds because in the last 2 seconds we are going to display the answer. Now from the ending point, reduce its duration for 2 seconds. Now let's add a small amount of animation on this element. In the top right corner, click on animate. Now choose the animation you like, but I'm going to choose this neon. Click on it and then make sure it is on both. Then scroll down a bit and choose this flicker motion effect. Then click on duplicate and adjust its position like this. Then select both by pressing shift and then click on duplicate. And then place its position like this. Now let's play it and see how it looks. You can see that elements are not displaying after 8 seconds. Now let's add some text. Head over to the text panel and then pick a subheading. Type A in the subheading like this and place it into this circle. Once you place it into the center of the circle, select the text element and then click on animate. And then apply the animation effect you like. I'm going to select this one. This The name of this animation effect is block and make sure to select the animation on both sides, like in and out. Then scroll down a bit and add the flicker motion effect. So now it is going to be look like this. Now select the text element, then right click on it and then click on show position. Now reduce its duration from last 2 seconds. Because we don't want this to be display when we are going to display the correct answer. Now move the playhead to the first scene and again select the element and then click on duplicate. Now place its position on the second circle. Then select both and then click on duplicate and place it onto last two remaining circles like this. Then double click on second one and type B and then select the third one and type C and then select the fourth one and type D. So now this is how it looks. Now again select this text element and click on duplicate and place it here. Increase the text box width like this. Then click on alignments. Now click on font size and give it a size of 40 pixels and place it into the center. Now repeat the same process for remaining three elements. Now head over to the element section and pick a rounded square. Now increase its width like this. Now select this element and click on duplicate and then increase its height like this 
then click on the color panel and change its color to light purple and make sure to adjust properly like this then click on this text element and click on duplicate and then place it here increase the width of the text box like this and then type here correct answer now select all and click on the font size and give it a 40 pixel of font size then select this text element again and then click on duplicate and then place it here now press shift and select all one by one like this and convert them into a group then head over to the animate section and then apply the animation you like i'm going to select this one and then make sure the animation is on both side now scroll down a bit and then select this flicker motion effect now right click on it and then click on show timing later on we are going to display the correct answer inside this text box so we are going to display this for only last two seconds now change its position like this let's play it and see how it looks now one last time head over to the text panel and add a heading text to the canvas now place it on the top and now increase the width of the text box like this then click on the font size and give it a size of 40 pixel inside this text box we are going to display the riddle and we are also not going to reduce its duration because we are going to display this for complete 10 seconds now we have successfully created our riddle template and the only thing is left to do to add riddles dynamically to do so we are going to use chat gpt so in a new tab navigate to chat gpt now we have to give it a prompt to chat gpt to generate riddles for us and here is the prompt take a look at the prompt it says create 50 riddles on technology if you are up for generating 500 riddles simply type 500 here and also here and if you want riddles in different category just replace technology with whatever topic you fancy after you have got your prompt set up right go ahead and select everything and then copy it now come back to chat gpt and paste your prompt here and then press enter see how chat gpt has wiped up 50 interesting riddles on technology now select all the riddles like this and copy it now come back on canva in our video editing workspace then click on apps then search for bulk create now click on bulk create then click on enter data manually then click on clear table then select this column right click on it and then click on paste so now as you can see that all our riddles are here in column format now in the bottom right corner click on done now select this text box right click on it hover over to the connect data then select riddle then select the hint text box right click on it hover over to the connect data then select wrong answer one now select the second one right click on it hover over to the connect data and then select the wrong answer two similarly select the third one 
right click on it hover over to the connect data and then select on third wrong answer then select the last hint right click on it hover over to the connect data and then select correct answer now select this text box right click on it hover over to the connect data and then select correct answer now in the left side click on continue and then click on generate 51 pages this is how you can create a bunch of content super fast now let's give it a background head over to the element section then search for any background you want i'm going to search purple background in the photos remember you can also use videos as a background simply drag and drop the background onto this main frame like this now let's play it and see how it looks amazing right you can also apply the background on this frame simply drag and drop the background onto the frame like this you can also apply the background color on this frame first select the background and then select the color and you can also apply the transition between riddles move the cursor between pages and then click on add transition now here are multiple transitions that you can apply in your riddle videos like this i mostly use this one but you can use any transition you like let's apply the transition and then see how it looks once you click on the transition you will see this option apply between all pages click on it to apply between all pages now let's play and see how it looks Now if you want to change the background just select the page then simply drag and drop the background onto the main frame like this Now let's see how you can download these riddles in mp4 format in the top right corner click on share and then click on download now if you want to download these riddles in a one video then simply click on download but if you want to download these riddles as a separate pages then simply check mark on this option which is download pages as separate file and then click on download and there you have it a method to wipe up loads of content in an instant if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful kindly give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel your support means the world to us what means the world to us what means the world to us